They've experimented in this building with every new thing you could think of for a building. So comparing the, this building to the old, to the Palace of Finance, I, mean, I, I do love the Palace, but uh, this is like a, uh, a Lamborghini versus a Volkswagen. Yeah, that's missing a cylinder. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've never worked with a building with this much solar. I've never worked with a building that has, uh, that heats and cools itself through ocean water, uh, using uh, hydronics through all the floors and, all, and removing heat from all the rooms by the same technique. I've never, it's all new to me. A building, a net zero building means that we're like, one of the most efficient buildings there is in the country. We're not burning any fossil fuels. So the, one of the stoves in the kitchen burns a little for, for cooking, but we're not burning any for boilers. Most few facilities burn um, tons of uh, natural gas and fuels to keep the building hot and cool. We're not uh, expelling um, water from a cooling tower because we're using the ocean water to cool the building. So by not having a cooling tower, we're not expelling two million gallons of water into the air annually. The fact that it's solar and we're electric, it's just, a, it's just it's nice, it's a very good mix of building. Why don't we go take a look at a few of those mechanical rooms and we'll start with the Baywater room because that's pretty much where it all kind of starts. This is the first part of the Baywater room. This is the saltwater intake. What I just lowered down on the water, about 25 feet down, right on the, it's right down on the mud, it's right at the very bottom of the, of our, of the bay right here, uh, is a stainless steel intake screen, which is the first part that we filter, the first beginning of the filtration process of the seawater as it moves through this, this room to exchange the heat. This thing's only been in the water for a very short period of time, and I, that thing was spotless two months ago, and it now looks, yeah, has a lot of sea life on it. And it, it's one of those things that has to come up about every two weeks and be scraped clean, or it will, uh, it will fester into this massive thing of sea life, yeah. Because yeah, the ocean water being drawn in creates a nutrient flow. So it makes for a perfect place to live. Yeah, they don't have to swim for it. From there, that 55 degree seawater has now been filtered down to about, I guess, 30 microns, I was told. And it ends up in a tank below me. And this is uh, hundreds, of, hundreds of gallons uh, holding tank here. So it's holding that 55 degree water. And when the building's calling for it and drawing that seawater up, it comes up through the large pipes below me. So everything you see above me, uh, you have to see a lot of this is still under construction. Um, that's under construction because they're modifying our UV. This is the very last filter. This filter here uses ultraviolet light to get the last bit of uh, biological life out of the seawater. But all the stuff that you see that's going to be blue, so this is all green coming into here, blue coming out of here is seawater. And it's all plastic pipe. And uh, uh, it's all the seawater and it's going into those two giant blue guys back there, which are our heat exchangers. And what they are are titanium plates, it's like 1,500 titanium plates. One side of the plate is what's in the yellow pipes, which is a uh, um, rust inhibited um, pH balanced closed loop. So it's a closed loop of water that's in the building that never goes anywhere. It just continually circulates in a circle, moving the hot or the cold around the building through uh, hundreds of zones. We have zones everywhere you can heat an office or not the floor, heat the exhibit floor and not the offices, and depending on where all the little valves are, there's valves everywhere. Uh, and then it immediately goes from there and exits out and dumps into the ocean right here. But so you've got your, yeah, building water here and seawater here, and they don't touch each other because those steel, those titanium plates allow for the fluid to be very close to each other and exchange the heat from each other but not come in contact and not pollute the building and not rust the whole building out because seawater is uh, pretty caustic. So the room we were just in is the, uh, the, the main server room for the Exploratorium. It, it, uh, uh, all five server rooms feed that one room. That's the main uh, network point of the whole building. And it, uh, um, it draws the heat from the servers into a hot aisle, which goes up through a, uh, um, coils that are like uh, similar to a car radiator. And it uh, pulls the heat from the room and dispels it back into the ocean. And that's uh, into the heat sink that's the ocean. That's what that room does. The old building, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And here you kind of can do whatever you want, but if you drill a hole in the floor, water comes out of the floor. You know, if you uh, drill a hole in the wall and you're not really careful, water can actually come out of the walls. Uh, there's hydro hydronic piping everywhere. It's like a spider web to the whole building. There's electrical. Everybody we work with really wanted to have power everywhere. There is power everywhere. I mean, there's more, according to the contractors, there's more electric electrical outlets and stuff than we'd find in a hospital. And so it's just, 
there's, yeah, you've got no excuse when it comes to electricity, it's everywhere. And, but that being the case, there's plumbing for that. There's the uh, conduit everywhere. So everyone's just gonna be really careful how they mount things and I think we'll be all right. Yeah.